This is amazing. What if you can add your custom endpoints to your custom GPT? What if you can host your own endpoints yourself? Creating endpoints, customizing endpoints, and adding it to custom GPT. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about creating your own API endpoints, publishing it in a server, and adding it to custom GPTs. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to adding actions to your custom GPTs, I've already covered this in the previous video, which I will link that in the description below. This is in regards to adding your own API endpoints to add actions. I explained about this schema in my previous video as well. So I'm going to take you through how I created that endpoint and added to the schema to get the latest stock price of Apple. So firstly, we need to create a Flask application. First, conda create hyphen and chat GPT Python equals 3.11 and click enter. Next, conda activate chat GPT and click enter to create the virtual environment and activate the virtual environment. Then pip install Flask and click enter. Then pip install Yahoo Finance to install Yahoo Finance to get the stock price and click enter. Next, create a file in the same folder and open it. We are going to create two endpoints. One is the home endpoint. Another one is getting the stock price endpoint. What is endpoint? Endpoint is nothing but a URL. One like this and another one like this with slash stock at the end. So as a first step, you're going to import Flask. From Flask, import Flask request response. Then import JSON. Then import Yahoo Finance. Then you're initializing the Flask app by app equals Flask. Then you're creating the endpoint, which is done by at app.root slash. That's how you create the endpoint. Now we created one endpoint. That's the home endpoint. It will return hello world. The next endpoint we are going to create is slash stock with methods get. So in this, we're going to define get stock data and passing a symbol. That symbol will return back the stock price with the response. So now we have created two endpoints. One is the home endpoint that is slash and the second endpoint is slash stock slash will return hello world and slash stock when passed a symbol it will return the stock price of the company then after this if main then you're providing app run host 0.0.0, .0 and port number 81 now we're going to run this go to your terminal python stock underscore price dot pi that's where my code is and you can see it's opening in the port number 81 i'm going to open that and you can see clearly port number 81 returned hello world that is the home endpoint now we are going to add the stock slash stock and symbol as google and click enter now we get a response like this with the symbol gogl and stock price 136.9 that's it we added two endpoints one which returns hello world and another one returns the stock price so to represent this endpoint this is the schema which i've already shared in the previous video so here is the stock and here we are using a basic authentication Currently, we haven't created any authentication in our current application. The basic auth type HTTP and schema basic. So that's the next step, how to create authentication. Going to our code, we are going to add API key. API key equals my API key. Replace this with your actual API key. Next, we need to validate if the received API key is correct or not. So we're going to create a function to validate that. Define validate API key and it receives the request. It will check if the received API key is same as this API key. If the API key is not the same, it will reject the request. This is for security purpose. We want to secure slash stock endpoint. If not validate API key, return status is 401. When the custom GPT sent an API key, if that API key doesn't match with this API key, which is provided here, then it will return false if it doesn't match. That's it. Now, if you go and run our application, this won't work because it's secured behind the API key. So it responds with invalid API key. But when you add the API key in the header, like my API key as a basic, then click enter, then it will return the stock price. So when custom GPT sends a request to your application, this is what it's going to do. Add authorization basic my API key to the header. Now we have created the whole application with two endpoints and the slash stock endpoint is secured with API key. Now we need to host this. So to host this, I am using Ripplet. You need to sign up for Ripplet. There in the main.py file, you can paste the code which you just generated and test it. 
and save it. Then create another file called requirements.txt and then in that you add Y Finance. That's it. Now just click run and you can see the Hello World application is running. Click this button to open our endpoint. That brings you to this page. This is your endpoint now. So copy this and paste it in your schema. Here is your schema and paste that thing in the URL here. Now I'm going to copy the whole schema and paste it in your add actions schema area. Paste and in the API key section, click on that icon and paste the API key and click the save button. Now it's all ready. We created the API endpoint. We add authentication, basic authentication. Then we deployed in a server, Ripplet, and now we have added that to a custom GPT. And now we're going to test that. Click test button. Now it's calling that and here is the response and it got a right response. I'm going to ask stock price of Tesla and click enter. It's talking to the endpoint. The latest stock price of Tesla is $233. If you go back to our Ripplet console, you can see both requests. The first request, Microsoft, we received MSFT from GPT and then we received Tesla here. You can clearly see the logs here, the number of requests you are receiving. As simple as that. Now you're able to create your custom API with your own function, add the schema to the add actions button, publish your application and give extra features to your custom GPT. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.